Good evening, lovely. Zoe here to see with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you. And today, we've got a few little bits of news and announcements coming to you. The first bit being that the Entei Raid Hour that I'll be missing most likely as my plane will be landing uh, is going to be for Entei Raid Day. Entei is going to be in raids during July 14th from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. local time. So wherever you are in the world, Sunday, July 14th, 4 to 7 p.m. Entei Raids Shiny available. Good luck, get out there and please someone save me one for a trade. As you guys might be able to tell from the, the absurd amount of bicycles and beautiful flowers, I'm still in the Netherlands here. And the next bit of news comes in the form of trainer battles. So new improvements and new moves coming to trainer battles. So I'm gonna do a bit of reading because I don't wanna get anything wrong for you guys. The first bit of news is gonna be coming in that when Pokemon switch in to trainer battles, it's going to pause the battle briefly. This is going to be game changing because at the moment a lot of current strats in PvP and trainer battles revolve around optimizing your swap to, you know, soak moves to deal more damage and things like that. The fact that it's going to pause the game now, pause the battle when you swap in, spicy, spicy new update. This will also grant more time to choose which Pokemon you would like to call out as well. And it will avoid the Pokemon causing damage while you're swapping out. So while it's paused, there's no damage being done. There's no point, like, you know, tapping while people are swapping in and out now, apparently. Uh, that's going to be gone. Additionally, additionally, Charged Attack gameplay will be updated with new fun swiping and tapping mechanics. Curious. Uh, apparently this is going to be detailed on the help page for more info, so once that's actually live and I can check that, I will check that. But I'm curious to see if this is going to be uh, able to assist people with, you know, accessibility issues. You know, the, the spam tapping uh, is not the most accessible feature for those who might have, um, you know, disabilities or uh, accessibility issues in playing PvP. So fingers crossed this helps address some of those issues and I'm curious to see what the new tapping and swiping mechanics actually are. Next up is that more attacks are coming to Pokemon Go. The first one being Alolan Raichu with Grass Knot. So Al Alolan Raichu can currently only learn electric and psychic type attacks. Uh, Grass Knot is going to help give it more coverage over uh, its weakness to ground type attackers. The next move after that is Vileplume with Sludge Bomb. So this is going to provide Vileplume with a really punchy poison move to kind of take advantage of its grass poison typing. Come on then. Oh, hey, Whoa. yay, it's not, I've never had this one, not even a go fast. Up after that is Hypno with Fire Punch, Ice Punch and Thunder Punch. So three new moves coming in for Hypno, giving a bit more option in the Great League. So if you don't have yourself a Legacy Hypno with those really specific move sets, three new moves coming in for Hypno. Up after that is Electrode with Foul Play. So currently Electrode can only learn normal and electric type moves. So Foul Play spicing it up a little bit too. Up after that is going to be Aerodactyl with Rock Throw. So this is gonna be perfect for Great League, pitting Aerodactyl against you know, flying types like Altaria. So Rock Throw coming in for Aerodactyl. Also some ducks coming in for dinner time, I guess? Really cute. After that is going to be Articuno with Ancient Power and Ice Shard. Ice Shard being there to help uh, charge up the charge move faster and Ancient Power offering additional type coverage for Articuno. Next up, Zapdos with Ancient Power and Drill Peck. Prior to this, Zapdos could only learn electric type moves. So Drill Peck and Ancient Power both providing additional type coverages for Zapdos. After that, Moltres with Ancient Power and Wing Attack. So again, more coverage for the legendary birds here. Wing Attack going to be an alternative for Fire Spin as a, char as a fast move and Ancient Power providing providing a different type option. Following that, Sceptile with Dragon Claw. So Dragon Claw giving, again, it's just more additional coverage for all these Pokemon. Uh, so I gotta go for the boss. <laughs> Next up is going to be Agron with the fast attack Smackdown. 
Next will be Clay Doll with Mud Slap. Clay Doll's already kind of a beast. <laughs> That's not gonna pick up on my microphone, it's one directional. <laughs> Context, beep beep, I'm a sheep. Clay Doll's already pretty much a beast in the Great League as well, depending on the different cups, but uh, Mud Slap, a ground type fast move for Clay Doll. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> so again, additional type coverage, uh, improving capabilities against Pokemon resistant to its psychic type attacks. Lucky number something is Bronzong. So Bulldoze and Psyshock for Bronzong. Again, Bronzong pretty decent in the Great League already. Bulldoze and Psyshock are both charged attacks. This is going to help set it apart from different steel psychic Pokemon like uh, Metagross for example. So a nice little bit of differentiation for Bronzong. Then we're gonna have Electivire with Ice Punch. So a spicy little uh, additional move there for Electivire. Currently Electivire can only learn electric type moves. So hey, fresh little move set there for Electivire. And lastly, two entirely new moves coming to Pokemon Co. So the previous ones, existing moves that are going to new Pokemon. These two moves are absolutely new to the game. First of which being Skull Bash. So it's gonna be a normal type charged attack that increases the defense stat of the user 100% of the time. Sweet. Pokemon that can learn this will be Blastoise, Raichu, Lapras, Snorlax, and Rhyperia. Lil tanks getting even tankier. There's a very chubby bumblebee right here. Oh, come back. Look at these fat bees. They're so cute. Anyway, the last new move is going to be Charm, a fairy type fast move. So finally, our first fairy fast move in Pokemon Go. Yes! And the Pokemon able to learn Charm, the fairy type fast move, are going to be Raichu, Clefable, Wigglytuff, Wobbuffet, Granbull, Donphan, Gardevoir, Delikitty, Latias, Togekiss, my guy, and Gallade. So a whole stack of Pokemon able to learn Charm now, which is going to be fantastic, a well-deserved and well-needed shake-up to the fairy meta in Pokemon Go. I literally, I'm actually like very excited for Togekiss to get Charm, like, or just any fairy fast move. I'm stoked. Let's dissect this a little bit back at home. So back home right now, which is currently Reversal's couch. Thank you for the free accommodation. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. So basically, to uh, get break down into this, this is all currently based on what I'm currently working off now is just purely a text, like a written message from Niantic. I don't have any further insight into the exact stats breakdown for the new moves for Charm and Skull Bash. So uh, stay tuned for when we get a bit more of a. Your pants are really loud. <laughs> you hear this rustling in the distance. Well, <laughs> it sucks for you. It's my house. So currently my, you know, in terms of the stats, the, the, you know, how fast is Charm and, you know, Skull Bash going to charge up, how effective, how powerful these moves going to be, um, you know, the defense buff that we're going to get with Skull Bash, what is that going to be? We don't fully know yet, but we're going to find out very, very soon. Once this rolls into the game, we're going to get some more um, assets and info and things, I'm sure, from PvP Poke, from Poke Battler, um, all those fantastic resources for PvP. And stay tuned for here because I will be sure to cover it. I'm stoked that my Togekiss is finally getting some spicy little fairy moves. Additionally, with the new moves for the Legendary Birds, for Claydol, for Bronzong, Electivire, all those guys, I mean, Sceptile with Dragon moves, it's going to be a really spicy little meta shakeup. And the fact that we're currently in the middle as well, like the Jungle Cup has just pretty much, started, I mean, we're like almost, almost two weeks into the Jungle Cup for the Sylph PVP tournament for this month could have a bit of an effect on the remaining tournaments to be played this month. I haven't played my Jungle Cup yet. This could definitely shake up the current meta of the Jungle Cup alone, let alone the overall arching view of PvP in Pokemon. Plus this is gonna be, these moves are gonna be usable in raids as well. So not just PvP, but these moves will be in raids, um, in gym battles and things like that too. So it's gonna be affecting all of the main, you know, avenues for battling in Pokemon Go. Added bonus, you know, being that, you know, with Charm being finally our first fairy fast move, you know, any raid bosses that you might have be, you know, maybe you've got a, a goal yourself to solo this particular raid boss or to get a really special, you know, really fast time on this particular raid boss, happens to be with Teferi, 
you know, there's going to be a whole bunch of new challenges for people to test themselves with. New gym metas forming, new raid metas forming, new PvP metas as well. So stay tuned. I'll keep you guys up to date with everything that's rolling out with these new moves uh, and kind of like what it is affecting. That being said, stay tuned as well for my final GoFest video coming out very soon. I have got my first Deoxys uh, speed form raid tomorrow as well. Then Thursday is going to be Armored Mewtwo. And then I'm, I miss the Entei raids on the weekend, most likely, unless my flight gets in just in time. And he said, I should check my flights. But Stay tuned, there's a whole bunch of spicy stuff coming out for the rest of this week. Plus, well, my special trades from GoFest, I mean, you got this mm, mm, spicy content coming up. Thank you to all of the new subscribers as well. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate you guys being here. If you are new, please hit subscribe. And thank you to everyone who did leave a like too. If you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and merch are in the description down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.